This video is going to look at how to edit and annotate text in a PDF document using Adobe Reader on an iPad. So opening Adobe Reader, I have a PDF document already loaded. Uh, to edit it, just tap anywhere on the screen and at the top of the screen is the editing toolbar. And there are a number of tools there that will go through to edit and annotate to get back to uh, out of that out of the editing toolbar that will get you back to the to the main um, menu. So first one, speech bubble. So wherever I want this to go, I can tap there, which will bring up a text box where I can put in some uh, whatever the note is that I want, save it, and it puts a little speech bubble there. Uh, so maybe it's a reminder or an additional bit of information to change it. Just tap on it again and it will open up to uh, edit. So I can tap in there and, and continuing, continue at ed, uh, adding text, save it again, or I can tap on it and I can delete it. The highlighting tool. Highlight by holding down your finger and dragging it across the text you want to highlight. Now it's currently in yellow. If I wanted to change that color, hold it down and I can change the color to a different color. Hold it down again, I can change the opacity. So if I didn't want that highlighting to be so visible, I could change the, the opacity so it's a bit lighter. And holding it down again, you can clear it. The strike through tool. So this is for crossing out text. So if I wanted to cross that line out, highlight the line I want to, cry, to, to cross out. And there is a, a line going through there. The opacity is a little bit light, so tap on it and maybe make that a darker line or to make it even stand out more, change it to red and holding it down, clear it. So whatever tool you're using, if you hold it down, it comes up with more options. Let's clear that one. The uh, underline tool. So if you want to underline some text, we'll use the same line, highlight by dragging across the two rows and that underlines the text instead of striking it through and holding it down again you've got the same options changing the color maybe make it blue and the opacity and you can clear it so it's clear text um, holding it down and, and let's just hold that down again and it gives you some options for text you can either Select note, which will bring up again the, the speech bubble. Hold it down. Uh, adding a digital signature. And we'll look at that a little bit later on because there's another tool for that one. Hold it down again. Freehand, where you can actually, with a stylus or, or a pen, um, write text on your document. And holding that down, or oh, save it first. And hold it down to change its color and hold it down again delete it so if you wanted to do uh, freehand text there's other tech other tools that do this as well sort of seems to be doubling up text that one if you actually wanted to uh, text type some text in so this is text and save it and I, I, I think for me, this is a little bit better one there. Hold it down and you've, you can change the font size. That's already at 18, so we make it at 20. Make the box a little bit bigger by dragging the handles. Change the color, I would like it black. Holding it down, uh, I can move it around wherever I want. And also delete it, edit it so you can get back into the box and add more to it just keep holding it down to change what you want to do that's text with the the keyboard let's delete that um, this is the other tip this is the freehand drawing which, where you can do uh, text as well so i can write on here like i did before so it sort of does the same purpose as the text tool and before you can edit it you have to save it so if i don't hit that save button uh, and I wanted to change the color, I'm holding it down, but it's just giving me dots. 
have to save it first. So I've got the uh, go back there so I can take the last two things I did off, but I've got to save it. And then once I've saved it, I can t I can uh, change its thickness, add color, green, and opacity, make it light, quite light, dark green, uh, and delete. The digital signature. So here, if you wanted to actually add a, a digital signature, sign your form. So if it was a form you were filling in and you had to sign it, you could use the digital signature here. If you wanted to just initial something, you could uh, uh, use the digital signature. Or if you needed to uh, initial something, you could just use your um, freehand drawing. You had to initial it. But the signature. So I needed to put a signature at this point here. So if I need it to go, I need to tap where I want the signature to go and add the signature and it's going to put in whatever signature I've created before and save. And I can hold that down and move it around and change its color and opacity, all the usual options. If I now, and I'll, I'll hold that down and delete it. If I want to create a new signature, tap the signature edit the save signature and then I can clear what I've got in there with my finger or a stylus I can put a new signature in save it and it'll input that for me and I can change its color thickness etc then when you've, you're done with your editing close the editing toolbar and then you've got your options about sharing it so you can email your document or print it or open that document in another app. Uh, go back to the menu and you can uh, see it there. If you wanted to duplicate the uh, the document before you started annotating it, I mean this is the document here. I can uh, edit that, select that document, and one of these things duplicates it. Yeah, renames it. What's that one? Duplicate selected document. And so I could ha I could have uh, kept my original before I started annotating. The other one, there's the, the duplicate, the one with the one, and the original. 